guys, it's Dandy, and today I have a video. It is makeup related. Basically, I got the Blood Money palette. I bought it uh, secondhand, brand new from um, someone on the internet. And I can't wait to use it, but I do still have that thing on my eye. Um, it's actually not bumped up anymore now. It's just flat with like, I guess like a scab feeling on it. Basically, I was scratching my eye and I hit it the other day and a, like a hard ball came out. So hopefully it'll go away soon and be healed. Now, I bought this. It didn't have the outer box or anything like that. And I got a really good deal on it. The only problem is when I got it, it was broken. As you can see, this shade... This shade and this shade were all like broken, but I fixed them. They were shattered. Oh my god. The white one was especially bad as you can see. I lost like half the eyeshadow. Um, and you can still see eyeshadow bits in here where I tried to clean it, but it just I can't get it all out. Um I clean it up as best as I can, and then when I close it, more eyeshadow particles fall out of that like crease right there. And you know so but it still looks beautiful and I still love it and I still can't wait to use it so uh, I'm excited so like I said I was so sad when I saw it that I was broken but I've seen enough videos online to you know fix it and um, these two shadows were um, Mostly like a couple big chunks and then like I said this one was completely obliterated It was like one okay size chunk and then everything else was just these little tiny chunks that like I Was trying to like really work on so what I'm gonna do Is I'm gonna do how I usually do I'm gonna go to row by row by row I'm gonna start with this top row right here. I'll swatch them all tell you guys how they feel show you the swatches show you the names Tell you which ones I like the most, you know, stuff like that. So it'll be a normal swatching video. Okay, that's a little bit better. Before we got started, I went ahead and I turned on the light in here because I thought it felt a little dark and I want you guys to really be able to see the colors. So I'm going to go down the line, swatch them, show them to you. So obviously this first one is one that I had to repress. And in all honesty, it still feels really good like it still feels like a Jeffree Star shadow it's not I don't think it changed the feel of it of course his mattes just feel so nice I love his mattes my god his mattes just feel so good I really like this particular color a lot. I'll show you guys obviously when I get to showing. I don't know what it is, but like cause I usually, I don't know. Usually something like this would not call to me, but this and like between this and the Baby Yoda palette from ColourPop, greens have just been calling to me lately. So here's the first row swatched. This one, of course, is one I repressed. This is Divine Intervention. It's still very, very beautiful. This one is mint, kind of minty. It's mint condition. It's very pretty, a little, little pale, but that can be livened up with some white base. Chameleon Fetish, which is this neon green right here. This green shimmer I absolutely love is called Poison Ivy. This green right here is Make It Rain. And this kind of deeper green is Crocodile Tears, which matches the Velour Liquid Lipstick of the same name. I really, really love Divine Intervention. It is really pretty. Like, it's an icy white with a green shift, and I love that. And I really love Poison Ivy, the shimmery green. And I feel the other greens are also very, very pretty, very nice. These two right here are a little light, um, but I'm sure you could probably build them up. And then also, of course, a white base will really make those pop. I'm going to clean my hand, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I am back. Here's my clean hand. And now on to the second row, which is the middle row. Oh my God, that one is gorgeous. A little scratchy in the pan, but not bad. This one's also a little scratchy in the pan, but not where I am swatching it. All right, so here's the middle row. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, okay. Starting with this one, this like olivey green. This one's called Equity. Very pretty. This really shimmery one right here is Money Heist. That one felt a little tiny bit um, scratchy like in the pan with my finger, but was not scratchy while uh, swatching it. I love that it's kind of like a sheer uh, kind of bronzy color with that green shift and this more kind of gold is CEO and it is gorgeous. This green is Emerald Estate. Oh my god it's freaking stunning. I love it. It was also a little scratchy in the pan but not when I was swatching it out. This green right here is heavy weighted. I really like it. It's kind of minty, like mint condition, but like darker. And then this one right here is called Jaded and it is super, super pretty. So I really like the three shimmers in this row. Um, Money Heist, CEO, and Emerald Estate. They're all just super gorgeous and I really love um, Heavy Weighted, which is this color right here. These two colors are also very nice and I like the army green. All right, I'm going to clean my hand. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My hand is clean. I have a little tiny bit of sparkle still left on my hand, but you're not gonna really tell that. And now we're gonna go on to the last row, which is this row. Um, I'm sorry that I'm kind of going kind of quick. I don't have a lot of um, space on my memory card, so I'm trying to really, so that way I can get it all, you know, <laughs> so that I can upload this. All right. Um, okay, like I said, last row. God, I love his mattes so much. They are always so creamy and just beautiful. I love it, like, so much. And I mean, and his shimmers and stuff are always so pretty too. Like, I don't, that's what I love the most about his eyeshadows is they're always such a good quality. Okay, this is the other one, uh, the second one that broke. And it is swatching beautifully and feels like it should. So to fix those eyeshadows, I just listen to the internet. Essentially, I got all the color, all the pieces of the colors that I could, put them in their pan. Um, I took a butter knife and chopped them up a little bit more fine, and then I put um, the um, isopropyl alcohol. I had ninety nine percent. On there as best I could and then I pushed them down with a dime wrapped in a paper towel this other one that I that broke it also just feels gorgeous and like it should which I love I, I'm glad that these held their integrity you know like I was really afraid that they were going to that I was gonna mess up their integrity because I've never had um, an eyeshadow incident like this so happened so you know this is the first time i've ever had to fix an eyeshadow so and i had to fi fix three now i will say though it did kind of suck because of the oh you know i'll talk about it more here is the last row which oof i live for um i love this color right here this is called private island it is i can see myself i could see that being like the perfect like all over the lid 
um, shade, crease shade, everything just wonderful. Then you have this, um, another kind of army greeny kind of, um, reminds me of army green color called self made. Very pretty. Then like I said, this is one that broke. This one was tax free and it looks very pretty. Then you have this one right here called Persuasion, which is just a really nice brown. I think that one and um, Private Island would go together very well. This is the other one that was broken, Secret Stash, and it's a duochrome type shade, which is probably my favorite kind of eyeshadow, so I'm really happy I was able to fix that one. And this last one is called Black Card Limit, and it's like a kind of... I mean, it's, it is black, but it's like a like a charcoal black. It's not like black black. Um, it's kind of like a, a softer black, but it has the glitter in it. And I think, I think the glitter is green. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, the glitter is green. I don't know if you can tell on camera so much, but the glitter inside that shade is actually a green glitter. I actually really like that. I don't normally like um, or use black eyeshadows and palettes but with that glitter in it it's actually really pretty so i like that um we're just gonna see i'm just gonna take this uh, uh puffs tissue wipe my hand just to see how just to see how well it comes off with just a swipe of a towel with no water so yeah, you can still see some of it, but it is a darker, these are darker colors. I just wanted to see how well they came off. Okay, so anyway, what we were talking about, like with the broken shadows, um, I put all the colors back the best I could. You can see in this one, especially around the edges, it got a little bit of other colors in it. So you can kind of see that it's a little bit, like it's got a little bit of the other green, the other two broken shades in it. And then these ones... Like this one, especially, you can see has a little bit of a white in it. This one, I think I did pretty good. This one was the least broken. Or no, yes, that one. Secret Stash was the least broken. Um, so basically, I just put as much as I could in their little pouch, like in their little pans, and I broke them up with a butter knife. Um, nice and fine. I got some alcohol, and then I pushed them. The thing that sucks, though, is because of this, is cardboard. I think it's cardboard. Yeah, it's cardboard. The alcohol, um, even just having it on the pans, it did kind of get on here a little bit. Um, but it dried, and I was afraid it was going to um, hurt the integrity of, of that. But it didn't, um, especially because I didn't, like, you know, drown the whole thing in alcohol. I also made a mess and got some alcohol in this shade, but it didn't affect it any. I just let it dry. And, you know... It, it dried out just fine and is perfectly fine. So I love that I was able to fix it so that I can still use it. Um, and I think I did a pretty decent job of cleaning it up. Like you can see like the light green, you know, it's, it's dirty now, but it's gonna be. But I love that I was able to really get it cleaned up as best as I could and fix it. So it's still usable and I'm so happy to have it. And I'm I can't wait to use it as soon as this thing on my eye heals. I'm thinking about another week because it's just like a little bit of a scab now. So I'm just waiting for that to heal. And then I will definitely um, cannot wait to do a look with this. Um, I can't wait to try out a few other palettes that I just recently got. And some other ones that I've been wanting to try that I've had for a little while now that I've been wanting to work on. Like my Blue Blood palette. And my other, my Limoncello palette and my two Dominique Cosmetics palettes. I've been wanting to do looks with those as well. Um, and I just haven't gotten around to it because obviously the single eye has been on here for God, at least two weeks and it's just killing me. So yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye.